a very common type of segmentary, I mean, a, a standard segmentary problem, wherein we have two queries. The first query being add a certain value to the range L to R, and the second query being report the minimum value present in the range L to R. Uh, yeah, these are the two queries given to us. Okay, now if Let's call this query query one range update and the query two is range query because obviously because uh, it is query the first one is a update query on a range is a, an update operation on a range and the second one is a query on a range and okay so uh, yeah so we'll so let's let's suppose we didn't have this range update operation with us then the question would have been a simple uh, segmentary question where we would have maintained an um, array t where t of index would have represented the minimum value present in the range l to r but since we have a range update as well we need to uh, store another structure for that we will call that lazy that uh, vector that we store so i will call that as lazy the lazy of id represents the value to be added to the range l to r okay let's see an example we have queries of the form, we have these queries, the first query is 3 to 5, add plus 2 to this range. So the identified nodes for this range are these two nodes, and we need to add 2 to this range. So we'll add like, so we'll add 2 to the lazy array, because lazy represents what value needs to be added. So we'll add 2 to this. Also, we'll add two to the uh, minimum answer. Why? Because in this, in I mean, every node in this uh, range would have been incre incremented by two. So the minimum value of this range would also have been incremented by two. And why we added plus two to the lazy lazy array is uh, because we need to obviously we need to add to this range represented by this one. so with query 1 done we will move to query 2 where uh, we need to add 1 to plus 3 to the range 1 to 5 now the nodes identified for this particular range are this 1 to 5 right? one this, this and this right and we need to add plus 3 so again this is plus 3 this becomes plus 3 and this becomes plus 3 and value to add are this, this is the uh, values in lazy we'll add plus 3 plus 3 to lazy as well okay this query is also right now we move on to the finding the maximum value in the range 4 to 5. Uh, now the representing uh, the representative nodes for this range are this node and this node. Now, um, okay, since these two nodes are the representative nodes. Uh, I need to find the minimum uh, value present. So while we are descending down the tree, we'll, we need to keep track of what, how much uh, values to be added, right? So for example, if lazy of this node is plus 3, that means that all elements in this range would be implemented by 2, right? So, with this in mind, uh, for this we, uh, for this purpose we create a push function. Uh, so let's define the push function. So we'll say void push index is that t of t of two times index is incremented by lazy of index. T of two times index plus one is incremented by lazy of index lazy of 2 times index 
use your index, lazy of the right node is incremented by lazy of this node, and finally this node's lazy value is zero because we've propagated all the 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 addition we need to do to, to the two children of id. So this is two id to the left child two id plus one of the right child of id. So again, since uh, for id all like all values would be incremented by lazy id the corresponding uh, max minimum value present in this range would also be incremented by lazy id and this range would also be incremented by lazy id also the values to be added in this range would be incremented by lazy id and in this range would also be incremented by id and the values to be added to this range will be zero because we've propagated the values to the two children. So this is the push node. This is the push function. So the way we can use this push function uh, to solve our question is that when we are uh, like answering this query, when we encounter a node, uh, like for example, we encountered this node, right? While searching for these two representative nodes when we encounter this node we push the values to its subchildren so this plus 3 is pushed to both the subchildren and uh, so these these two values are implemented by plus 3 also these two values are implemented by plus 3 because of the push operation so once this push is done we do our standard uh, uh, like the function for the sub sub for the children as well. Yeah, so, uh, huh. and uh, yeah, this, this is it. And when, once we like encounter the representative nodes, uh, for example, we encountered this. Yeah, so once we encountered this representative node. Uh, we'll just report the value of uh, t of index that represents the minimum right uh, yeah so and uh, so this is so this query is done now again we move on to 6 to 8 plus 4 again this is the representative of this plus 4 plus 4 5 to 7 we need to find the minimum value present in this so the representative nodes for this is this one and this one again uh, while going to this node these uh, this the plus four value is uh, pushed to this node as well now the t value of this node is plus four and we report plus four for the t value of this node and for this the uh, the lazy values are propagated to this node and the corresponding uh, by pushing we increment the t value of this node as well and before the t value finally we take the minimum of it to this t values yeah this is the broad idea now the code would look like uh, first of all we'll have a function to build the segmentary which is simple where if we easily ignore the minimum value of that range would be the value of the node then we if if it is not a leaf node we build the left child we build the right child and then merge the merge both the children with the logic of like with 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 the logic that the minimum of the range is the minimum of uh, left child and minimum of right child minimum of both of those and uh, update query uh, update operation is given by uh, so if the range we are dealing with lies entirely within the query range then just report the uh, then just uh, sorry update this range that is uh, increment the minimum value by value so that is t index plus equal to value and also the lazy incremented by value if this is not the case then we need to so that is if that is not the case that means that uh, the query spans across both of these uh, 
वर्टिसेस और नो एक्चुअली आइडर इट्स पैंस अक्रॉस बोथ ऑफ दिस वर्टिसेस और नो इफ इफ दिस या सो दैट मीन्स दैट इट कैन बी समथिंग लाइक Okay, if this is not the case that uh, the node we are at is the representative node of the entire range, or it lies entirely within the range. So, what I mean to say is, if the query range is this and the current node is this, then this doesn't the L two R would be like zero one two three this would be like zero one two two three this would be like two zero three. So L two R doesn't entirely lie within one to two. That zero to three doesn't lie within one. To two. Then we need to uh, like push the values, push lazy the value presented lazy to both the children. That will update the T and lazy values of both the children. And do this like recursively. So if one to two was a query, we we'll again do this and again do this and take the minimum of both of these. Yes, this is the, this is the idea of update for query. Also, it is very similar. Uh, if we've reached a node that like represents the whole uh, query, so if this is the node. And query was something like this. Yeah, query, query. If this was the case, just represent the, uh, just return the uh, minimum value that is t value of this particular node. Else we need to solve for these nodes separately. So first of all, push the lazy values, propagate the lazy values to the, to the children. Once that is done, uh, solve for both these children separately, and then. Exactly what we saw in the super code. So this is something we'll have to do because of the way the question is structured. It is trivial, and this this update operation is exactly. So this is the push operation we were discussing about. This is the update operation where we, if the range lies entirely within the query range, we just increment t value and lazy value. Else we need to push the uh, lazy values. We need to propagate the lazy values to the children, update the children, and merge the children. I mean, write the merge process of the node. Uh, and query also it is similar. Uh, this is if the range lies exactly uh, entirely within the query range. Just return the t value of that range. Push the value to the children, and report the minimum number of work for the children. 